What's up YouTube? Welcome to this informative video about creating IIS profile in Visual Studio 2022. So uh, before getting started, let's make sure that we go to 10 windows features and make sure that these two are checked. So if they are not checked, check them and click OK. Then go to Visual Studio Installer, click Modify, and here where ASP.NET is written, make sure that Development Time IIS support is checked. If it is not checked, check this and click Install. And when the installation is finished, we are all set up to create our IIS profile. So let's create a new project ASP.NET Core and we will name it Amazing Web API. Click Next and Create. So, what we need to do is go to Solution Explorer and inside properties we have launch settings we have some profiles over here delete all of them and we will create all of this from scratch so we need two things first is the profiles and second one is the IIS settings so we will create a profile with the application name and this is a convention you need you you can name it anything you like so amazing web api command name will be iis so it will run on the iis server launch browser should be set to true so we don't have to run the browser each time this is optional but we declare a, a, an environment variable asp.net core environment to development so uh, you can have separate environments for separate settings for development and production so this is optional now in the iis settings we have to set application url for this it's gonna be http local host and usually is the name of the application so the application url the second thing is we need to set the ssl port to zero now for our second profile it is gonna be iis express this profile also has some advantage for testing because it does not depend on the iis server so the comma so we will copy all of this and this will be iis express everything else will remain the same now we should copy this and this will be iis express so for the setting for the above profile now we usually use the iis express with port numbers so you can give any port numbers but know that some port numbers might give you trouble so you need to change them if uh, the iis express profile is not working so let's do 4236 and hope it will work now we can test the iis express profile and weather forecast the profile is working we can do one more thing which is we can give a launch url swagger so it goes up to swagger and gives us a clean ui so the a clean ui for the web api now if we want to run the
so this is a, a, the IIS manager where all of the URL goes now you can see that if I stop the server and run the IIS Express it still works because it is not dependent on the server now let's try to run the profile which is dependent on the server so it's not running because the server is turned off if I start the server you can see that now the application is working So uh, this uh, profile also requires uh, the Visual Studio to be open in the admin mode otherwise it will not work. So you can open the Visual Studio as administrator. And you can see that the uh, Visual Studio has created our profile for us. So this is all for the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. See you next time.